Hey guys, I just wanted to make a EDWIN Chronicles 100 Heroes review video for the beta, uh, preview, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just beat it not too long ago. Um, however, I did not recruit everybody, so if you guys do have access to it, be mindful that you can miss some recruitable characters. Um, here is a, a nice uh, image for the game title. Um, but let's get right into it. Uh, so my thoughts right off the bat without going and showing you guys some pictures that I took, in-game pictures and some other pictures, just stock pictures. Um, I thought the game was, was, was great. It started a little slow for me, um, but then it picked up. I wasn't, at first the music wasn't hitting with me. I guess I'm so used to the, the Suikoden 1 and 2 themes. Um... But overall, the game is great. It's comical. It made me laugh a few times. Uh, the the characters so far, whom I've met, uh, were charming. Uh, the world seems pretty big. The writing is really great. You can tell Moriyama really put his heart and soul into it. And again, he does a nice job showing politics. Um, that segregation that's in there, you can tell that certain race don't like the other race. So all those elements of Suikoden are in there. You have the runes. Um, there, but the rune system has been altered. And I'm going to get into that a little bit. So there, there is a little spoilers here, guys. So I'll do my best not to include spoilers. Um, I, I did manage to collect some pictures here. I just wanted to go over one by one. Here's um, some pictures. This is actually an uh, in-game uh, picture from the beta. These two guys, Yasuke and I forgot his name, the guy with the blonde hair, you can actually recruit them. Those enemies are hatchlings of a bigger version of them. Um, let's keep going. It's a shame because I managed to get the Rune of Fire, Rune of Wind, Rune of Earth, um, Rune of Water, and I was only able to equip the Rune of Fire, so I never got to see any of the other Rune, which was, which is very disappointing, so I might have to replay the game. So let's just go through. This is another stock uh, image. I did not see this guy in the beta. Yasuke with the pink. I saw him. And that's and Malor. I, I didn't get to see the other people. Here's a stock image. Title screen. Here's an actual picture I took. Um... This is the actual world map. This world map is huge. You have like a desert area. I'm assuming that's where the shark, those shark people live. And the other guys with the turbans. Um, I think that the mountains up there are the icy areas. That looks kind of snowy too up there. And you have more like wastelands down there. You have a port. I wonder if we get to travel anywhere. Unless that port connects to these uh, other villages down there. So the game really lets you explore that whole, where that green is, that whole uh, circle area there. Um, I think we, we go to uh, the west a little bit too, I could be mistaken. I know we do go in that path right there in the mountain. Um, that's, this is an in-game actual from the beta. This is like world map. Uh, there's another in-game. So guys, the way the ruin system works... Um, let's say the main character reaches level 10. Uh, he will unlock a new ruined slot. But every slot, let me see if I take a picture of the slots. That way it can be better to explain it. No, I, I didn't. Um, I did not take a picture of the slots. Maybe I'll make another video about that. But the slots open up every time you level up. Every character has a different prerequisite of levels. Uh, Noah, for example, goes by 10, so it'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 is the max. Uh, someone like Gar, Malor have like, well, Gar has like four slots. Uh, Noah has more than that. Some characters have a limit. Um, and each slot represents um, a rune. So, for example, um, there are some ruins called the Ruin of... of defense ruin of resistance so like skill base enhancements so you have the enhancement section enhance uh enhancer enhancement then you have the skill which would be like um 
for example, like a move called Wild Attack or Double Strike, uh, just those things. So you have the skill section, which takes SP. SP recovers during battle. Um, attacking, I, I believe defending might recover it. Um, and then you have the MP base, which is, this, which is the one that we're familiar with in, in Suikoden. Uh, and that one is if, um, if you use, for example, uh, a fire rune, it automatically unlocks three abilities. It's not like how it used to be, how um, <clears throat> you would, in, in Suikoden, it would like unlock certain magics for you. Like you can only use level magic one and two or just one. Over here, you get the three of them right off the bat. So I'm assuming there's another form of fire. I could be mistaken. So you get level one to three off the bat for water, earth, any magic type, or whichever has one to three. And also, that uses MP, so it would be like from 10, 20s, and 40. I believe the, the last one, the third one, usually takes around 40 MP around there. So you have the skills, you have the MPs, um, and then you have the enhancements. Enhancements are more like 5% on uh, defense, 5% on attack, strength, uh, resistance to this, uh, match, you know, just things like that, just enhancers. And then, like, again, you have the skills, which is just, like, uh, power moves or certain abilities that the characters can do. Some characters come with pre-made ones, like Melor. Um, and some characters learn theirs as they level up. So, Fran... What's her name? Francina Francesca. I forget her name, I'm sorry. I think it's Francesca. She learned a uh, SP uh, skill-based move as she level, leveled up. Um, so that covers that. We got, we've covered the world map. Um, we also covered the way the room works. And we got the formation. The formation is really cool, guys, because you have, um, you have the, the front, you have the rear. You can add a support, and then you can add three attendants, which I don't know what they do yet. I don't know what the support does either because I wasn't able to use those. I think the attendants are just to have reserve parties. So if you want to swap them in, because I, I was given the option to put Gar, Noah, Elian in that section. So I think that's more like to swap. Um, and support, I don't know what that would be. Um, that can be healing. Maybe somebody will have like a cooking skill they, they can uh, craft or something. Um, kind of like Suikoden in 3. I know that's where they that's where it came from originally. Um, and here are some of the stats. That's what it looks like. You got the power, magic. My I don't know too much. The the clover is the luck. Uh, defense. I don't know I don't know them offhand guys, so I apologize. And then they show which character. Some of them are medium. You see the M, the yellow M, the diamond. Some of them are small. Uh, small. Short. <laughs> Sorry, short. That's red. Meet, uh, mid range is <clears throat> yellow, and I think blue is long. I could be wrong. Um, and then they have other things here. You you can go to the blacksmith. You can uh, sharpen your weapons, kind of like Sweetkunin. So it's like a Sweetkunin game, but different, right? So don't go in the mentality thinking this is going to be just like Sweetkunin. Yes, it has elements of Sweetkunin. It's like if you have a son or a daughter, they're not going to be exactly like you. <coughs> Excuse me. But they're going to have um, certain skills or things they learn from you. Um, so that's how, you know. But I think this game is very, very enjoyable. There's another picture, in-game picture. Right here, guys. I'll show you the ability. This is two abilities in the water rune. Heidi has the... Hildy has the uh, water rune. Um... The third one is not showing up because it's more of a battle. These two are healing. The first one is healing a single item. Recovery wave is healing everybody. Um, and the middle one is a magic defense uh, ability. And this again, that's the formation. Showing Hildy, so let's see. Hildy was long, I believe. Long range, so it's not showing up here. But you see here, uh, Ruin of Water. It's not Water Ruin. The way they set it up is a little different from Suikoden. It's Ruin of, and then the name. It's not Water, and then Ruin, or the name, and then... 
But yeah, I mean, guys, I do recommend this game. I think a lot of you guys will be pleased, or the majority of you guys. I know some, now you can't please everybody. Uh, but I think Moriyama, for his final days, he really gave his all. Maybe he knew his time was coming and he wanted to do one last thing. <clears throat> and I, I think, unfortunately, I think working on this game and COVID made his health progressively worse. Um, and, you know, we should honor this man. He created a, a masterpiece here. And I hope it does well. I really do. I believe it will. <clears throat> the voice acting is great. Uh, the, the graphics in the game is amazing. The music, it took some time for me to get used to. The battle music is great. It's just some of the music in the game is, I, I just, I guess the volume was too low. Maybe it must have been my PC. But the, the music, don't, don't get me wrong, the music is great. I think I'm just being biased because I missed the Sweet Couldn't uh, 2 composer. She was amazing. Um, again, like I said, the graphics are beautiful. The game is very presentable. The NPCs look great. The environment looks amazing the only gripe i had was the the over the overview world map you can turn the camera which is great but then when you're like playing you can't switch you can't like you can't turn the camera it's, it's stagnated so sometimes you might go in a dungeon and you can't see certain locations in xeno gears you can rotate the camera fortunately here you can't that's not the end of the world you can still, you know, see things. You can still do things. I just feel like at least they should have made certain locations transparent. Uh, the boss battles. They're, they're quite challenging. Um, I got stuck in, in this one boss battle. Um, I managed to beat it eventually. The boss battles have gimmicks sometimes. Uh, meaning, like, there might be uh, a certain thing you have to do to uh, cause more damage to... You don't have to do it. But sometimes you should do it because the gimmick might cause you more damage or you can cause them more damage. You can prevent it from causing you damage and prevent that and cause them damage. So it's pretty cool how the gimmicks works. The beta had at least four to five bosses or I think five around there. Um, it, it, the beta was, was very generous. I got up to level 16, close to 17. Um... But yeah, no, guys, I recommend the game. I think the game is going to be awesome. I think you guys will be pleased. I feel bad for the Switch users because the physical copy won't be coming out. And I didn't see digital in the store. I know the backers are getting a digital. Hopefully, um, the ones that only have Switch and are not backers will be, you know, given the opportunity to do the same, uh, to buy it off the Switch store. Um, but yeah, guys, um, again, I think you guys will really enjoy this game. Um... It has a lot of sweet could in life into it. I just hope that um, they make Edu and Chronicle Part Two in the future. If this sells well, I know Moriyama's not here. He's the man behind everything. Um, I'm sure he left some blueprints for an, a sequel. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, if you guys want me to talk about anything else or upload anything specifically just let me know in the comments below and i will be more than happy to share my thoughts or share more information thank you take care